the machine is going. We have uh, WebEx is up and running. We have one uh, listening in. And we have five members present. Uh, we have enough for a quorum. I will call the Grant County Drainage Board to order August uh, 8th, noting all members present. And uh, we will move right along to the uh, approval of minutes, which we didn't do last week or last time around. It's 11th, right? Uh, July 11th, sure. yes. Fair on. Yeah. Well, okay. You said your lights on. No, they're not. <laughs> Are they <laughs> red? <laughs> yeah, they're on. I just looked at them. No, they're... It's not red. It's off. Yeah, it is. It's off. It's, it's off. It's not on. It that... was blowing when I went over there. Now it's on. It's on. <laughs> it's off. It's off. <laughs> <laughs> he turned this off. You're just confusing me. All right, so we have uh, July 11 that is in front of us, and we also have July 25th. As everybody had the chance, we weren't uh, totally happy we, with the chance that we had last time around. So we only had three: myself, Kenny Case, and Pinkerton on the 11th. That's when I was on the boat, right? Uh, I was I was here on the 11th, wasn't I? Because that was my birthday. <laughs> oh, you're right. You're right. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> so we can take them separately. Uh, we have July 11th before us. I make a motion we approve uh, July 11th. Gordon Goff's made the motion to approve July 11th minutes as presented. I'll second. Pat Pinkerton has seconded. Any comments, corrections, deletions? Hearing none, all those in favor would say aye. 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 And abstaining? Abstain. Carried four to one abstention. And we also have July 25th minutes. Has everyone had a chance to review those? That's the last meeting, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion. Mr. Pinkerton has made a motion to approve July 25th as presented. I'll second. Gordon Goff has seconded. And uh, any other comments? Oh, Editorial well. changes, corrections? Hearing none, all those in favor would say aye. 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 And those abstaining? Abstaining. And Kenny, I'm assuming you <coughs> abstain too on that. Yeah. Carried three to two. We're good. All right. Jim, would you walk us through our claims, please? Uh, the first one, Sullivan's excavating $4,816.30 on Little Crane Pond tile. There's $14,465 in the fund. This is in, this is an in your construction thirty thousand dollars on Monroe of Luger Creek, one hundred eighty seven thousand seven hundred six in the fund. In your construction twenty eight thousand six hundred fourteen on Monroe of Luger, and this this wraps that up, doesn't it, Raymond? He's got like four thousand left for leveling. Okay, again, there's a thousand eight hundred seventy dollars in the fund, and we've got. Uh, the Doty Ditch, IMI, $1,381.23, 4683 still in the fund. And then another IMI stone, $1,010.75 on the Doty Ditch. That more of the Kate's did some more. Yeah, the 300 there. feet of new tile. This was a stone for that. Okay, the motion we prove this, those claims as presented. Have a motion, Mr. Goff. Second. Second, Mr. Cox. Any discussion on those claims? Hearing none, all those in favor would say aye. 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 It's carried. Next batch. Uh, Gordon's to abstain. It's on the powers drain. IMI Stone, $916.54 on the powers drain. 74,617 in the fund. IMI on stone for $933.26. 
on the powers drain, and then Rogers Farm drainage, $57,480 on the powers drain, being 74617 in the fund. He's got about a half of it in. Uh, yeah, that's not the final bill. That's not the final bill. I'll make a motion. Motion, Mr. Cates. Second. Second, Mr. Cox. Any uh, questions on that discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor would say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Those abstaining? Aye. Carried four to one abstention. And uh, last batch. Okay, uh, Kenny's to abstain from Pipe Creek. IMI, this is riprap, $3,237.25 on Big <clears throat> Pipe Creek, $153,375 in the fund. This is Cook excavating $1,840 on Pipe Creek on one landowner, and then Cook excavating $1,640 on Pipe Creek on another landowner being $153,375 in the fund. Who we pay these claims? Second. Motion, Mr. Cox. Second, Mr. Pinkerton. Any discussion, questions on those? I, I'd just like to say, some of this stone was delivered when the ground was dry here a while back to a bad location, so he is going to fix a, a bad erosion area. So we'll be getting another bill as he as he fixed that spot. But a lot of this was dead trees down in the channel of Pipe Creek and, and disposing of old burn piles from past obstructions. So we're anticipating one more bill on this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor would say aye. 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 And those abstaining? Aye. Carried four to one abstention. Very good. Yes, sir. If we're buying quite a bit of stone off IMI, you need to call them and get a discount when we're buying. If we keep buying. Mary, Mary deals with the girls out there a lot. You, you ever uh, have mentioned a discount? Never I don't think you're going to get it with the girls, okay? That's the only one. I, Kevin Holcomb's probably the only one. But they can steer you to. to uh, you know Kevin Holcomb? Work on Somebody him. from the drainage board needs. Or somebody you're, you're, from. You're on the drainage board. Oh, well, I mean somebody from the office up there. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I can call Kevin if you'll. <clears throat> um, the salesman, they've changed. Yeah. Okay. But Mike Gross is not the salesman for. He quit. And the guy that's a salesman is out of Huntington. I, I think that's a fair um, question for us to ask. I mean, we, we use gravel. From I talk to Kevin a lot. I, I don't have no you know, trouble asking for a discount. Well, right? ask him who you need to talk to, okay? Because well, he's not the one. He's, that way. he's a plant manager. But that's what I'm. There, that's what I'm. I don't yeah, think he's, he's thinking is. He's not the high. Price. The highway department is buying gravel all the time, so that. We should be able to affix ourselves to whatever that that there, deal is. There, there you go. That's like in here. It's getting ready to get twelve. But I mean, there's, yeah. so. their stone is getting so high priced out there anymore. Uh, fours is eighteen dollars a ton. What well, what I'll do is I'm I'm going to put Jim and I and David White on a an email and I'll ask how we could. Tie ourselves David, get on the David White should know the price. channels or who yeah. I need to talk to, and, and then I can use them as, hey, you're doing it for the highway department. Yeah. All right. Stone discount with IMI. Yeah, we got a bunch coming on uh, Luger. Luger Creek. Okay. And part of it back in the Monroe ditch. Mm -hmm. Stop erosion. You may not get it on trucking, but you get it on the stone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll move through the rest of this. We we do not have any addition on additional info on Little Crane Pond, but as soon as we get through Hummel Creek and we actually cash a check, <laughs> okay, that's that's next on the priority. We can get that off the list, maybe. Huh? Maybe. And and I will, <laughs> we'll just go ahead and note this. Um, 
we are supposed to receive uh, that payment uh, as of today. Is that correct? This afternoon. This afternoon. And um, the treasurer, uh, not treasurer, our secretary would like permission once we have put that money into the, remind me, it's, we put it into the Hummel Creek Watershed. Watershed. And then transfer it towards the loan. Towards the loan. General drain. So that money technically You can't just be transferred into the general drain and permit from where it belongs? No, I have to have a paper trail. Well, that would be a paper trail. People's going to wonder, well, that's where it come from. They, yeah. we, I actually told, told uh, Mary yesterday to check with Kyle on the proper procedure, and he said that was the okay. proper thing to do. Is here, then get it in the maintenance, and then transfer it to the right, and program. then we would would cancel the the uh, write off the rest of the Hummel Creek because we have to absorb that, and the collection that's already been on Hummel Creek stays where it's at, so it doesn't go into mm -hmm. pay for that. Is that clear as mud? <laughs> we need a motion on that, or what? I understand. Um, we just I, I like a we, we need to do that. Um, again, we are not writing off this right now. Uh, she'll come back to us after we've received the funds. We're just giving her permission to start the process to take the funds, get it into the Hummel Creek, and then get that sent over to, uh, to the uh, general drain improvement. But that's what we need to do. If somebody would like to make a motion to that effect. Yeah, we don't do write-offs until we know that the money's been paid. That's ultimately what I know what down. you're trying, and I'll make a motion to that. To that effect. <laughs> okay, you're making a motion to that effect. Yeah. We're just instructing her to start the process. Anybody want to second that or? I thought I heard a second. Did I hear a second? I'm no, sorry. I was just clarifying oh. his motion to that oh, okay. effect. I'll, I'll second, second that. that motion. To that. <laughs> I thought you were seconding. Okay. We're, we're counting Pat as that, so. <laughs> All those in favor would say aye. Aye. Any opposed or abstain? Okay. So we just voted on something that's not even on our agenda. That's, yeah. that's right. I brought it in yeah. as old business. <laughs> Okay, under new business, uh, Little Creek, Don Hill, maintenance request. Uh, he had uh, Rick Selvin go out and look at it the other day. When I talked to Rick, I told him to, to haul the wood off. He's got dead trees standing, and he's got quite a few that's in the channel, and Rick could give me a price. You know, I was worried about the smoke because there's houses there or the, the state road, but after talking and looking at it with Mr. Hill this morning, he does have some locations where the, the piles could be smaller and probably burn on site, but the, the price to haul it all off was $15,050. There's $53,493 in the fund, and uh, Mr. Hill has also bush hogged uh, access to uh, the property running south of his property. The rest is all in a nice green strip that he keeps mowed. But here's the estimate. He's here today to ask for approval if you pass that around, but we, we need to change that now, and I, I don't know what it'd be, but, uh, you know, Rick can burn it on side. He's okay with that. I was the one that, that drove the price up by asking him, what, what, what will we need to haul the wood off? So if he, we could still approve it, he could come in by the hour and, and uh, cut these trees down, pull the dead ones out of the channel, and and get that all cleaned up through there. Do we recall an initial with prior to the uh, quote with the hauling? No, we didn't have one. Okay. He just put that together yesterday. And I was talking about hauling it off. And I met Mr. Hill this morning. We walked the property and it, he has different locations that he would be comfortable with telling him where to put the wood to burn it on site. I just didn't want to get one too big that's close to the highway where smoke goes across the highway. Normally the wind's blowing out of the southwest, it's going to be blowing probably towards his house. 
the ones uh, north of your house shouldn't this should blow northwest if we get a southwest wind i don't know about the ones on the south where you put telling to put them I, I had a big pile burning on Taylor Creek, and it was probably about 900 feet from my house, and ashes was falling on the car and the house from that one. You know, you just got to watch it. It was about the size of the house, though. So. How, how would you recommend? Do you want to set an amount and not to exceed until we know where it's going, or do we just give him permission to go ahead and do the burn? I, I you know... Rick Sullivan's going to be okay. He's going to keep track of his hours. I'll keep track of him. I say we just give him permission to uh, burn it on site by the hour, by his hourly rate. He's got that figured in here somewhere, you know. It'll be what it will be. So are, are all the dead trees down, or are they? No. Or some of them are still standing. A lot of them are still standing, but if he's in there this time, it's time to knock them down and get them yeah. out of the way. Are they ash? Or some or of them is they... right in the creek. What? Are they ash or what? Uh, most of them that are standing dead now are, are the ash trees that died off and now they're. You know, the couple gone. that's in the creek, I really didn't identify them this morning. They were ash. Yeah. Were they? So what's what's the uh, ditch banks themselves look like? Are they? They've got tr they've got trees. The ditch bank has trees on it. That's what's holding the dirt back through there. Is this is this one that's on the spray program? It it is. Yeah. Not, I don't think they've been sprayed. We haven't there. sprayed through there. Maybe I think maybe we need the to spray state highway there. come along and sprayed along the uh, road, and they're all dead. You sure? I'm not sure the state highway did. I think. They sprayed, they sprayed it, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Is there a problem with spraying the ditch bank in there? It get trees that probably you don't want sprayed. What do you think? I'm sorry. What do you think? You don't want if you spray the ditch bank, all them trees are going to die. The only, like I told you this morning, there's. Three really nice big walnut trees right there at the top of the bank on my side, on the highway side. I don't know who sprayed it, but somebody's already sprayed that. Those ash trees were dead before they sprayed. Right. They've been dead a while. So, uh, yeah. And if the highway did it, I don't think they'd come in and take them out. But I've not seen a highway. <laughs> they don't let them all the road. Yeah. They'll, they'll spray them, kill them, and leave them. Yeah. yeah. I kind of thought our spray people did it. Yeah. I kind of thought the highway did I think the spray people skipped it. I don't think they sprayed that part. We skipped Taylor Creek bad on my place. They didn't do a very good job. They made a little loop and killed some stuff. We held on that, didn't we? we yeah, paid I talked to the owner, and he'll have to give us a deduction next year. Since we've already paid him in good faith, he said he'd discount it and take it off next year's spray. And I, I'm going to meet him on the property and show him what the mistake was. They had a new guy on it. I was told. So, make the motion that we allow Sullivan in there to clear these dead trees by hourly rate burn on site. Hour, hour, hourly rate and burn on site. Yeah. We have a second. And I'll keep track of what he up pulled. To, up to 15 because if it's for whatever yeah, reason better. more than up to 15,000. Yeah. Okay, not to exceed. <laughs> I'll, I'll second it. Okay. You know, he had his excavating and he's hauling in that 15, so yeah. it's still going to be a few thousand. We're he's ready. still going to have to drag him to the, drag him to the burn yeah. site. Yeah. All right, we have a motion with support. Any other discussion, questions? Hearing none, all those in favor would say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Abstain. Abstain, okay. Carried four to one abstention. I'm sorry, but who seconded? Uh, Pat. So we're in business. All right. Thank you. Last. And, you know, supervise him out there and get those piles where you want. We might have to keep them smaller, but 
You know, he, he did realize he's taking out anything that's standing dead down. Oh. That's what he and I talked about. Right. He said you said to I'll call him today and we'll see when he starts, but he needs to keep contact with you. Yeah, he probably wants to wake up, dries up a little bit, but you saw this morning that Kirk's running pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to wreck the property up. You've got the easement mode and ice. You've got a nice path through there. Yeah. Then you yeah. bush hog. We just walked the party bush hog to the south through the little trees. We'll get that down a couple times with the bush hog. And are you going to keep that bush hog then? Yeah, I think I, if I can keep my bush hog running. Okay. <laughs> I think I will. I've had a lot of trouble with it. Because you could have a burn spot back on that southwest side, couldn't you? I've got a, yeah, and they've got some trees in there now that I, that I pulled out of the creek. Uh -huh. uh, I hadn't burnt yet, but uh, yeah, there's a, it's, it's a pretty good open spot there. Yeah. Uh, and you can burn there. Uh, and it, like I told you this morning, if somebody wants firewood, uh, if they drag them up on the bank and cut them up, somebody can come and get it. I don't care. Well, that'd be on you. The drainage board don't want to take out the liability of somebody <laughs> cutting right. wood in our easement. Right. With, well, yeah, do with us agreeing to it, you know. Yeah, I, it, it would, you know, it, they'd have to come through me anyway. If right. They wanted it, but, um, somebody I, I wants firewood, they want you to cut it up and bring it to them. Yeah. Well, yeah, can't, can't you just say if somebody wants firewood, they'll want you to cut it up and yeah. bring it to them? <laughs> Exactly right. And stack it for me too, please. Yeah. Don't, don't need it. Split it. Yeah, but you want somebody to you want somebody to work on that before he burns, you know, because he could do the work and then let the pile sit until it's a good time to burn. Yeah, and, and I had a guy from he was over in Jonesboro. I think he's moved now, but he used to come I, when I'd pull him out of the creek and everything. He'd come and cut him up, load him in his truck, and take off with him. Was, it, was that Junior Stone? No, uh, his first name's Sheridan. Okay, because he's done some tree work there on Back Creek on 2nd and Pearl Street for us. Yeah, this guy just, I guess he just sold firewood and stuff, so uh, I didn't even, I didn't split it or cut it or anything. I just drove it up there. But real late fall after it rains for a day and a half, you know, that's a good time to burn. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Last but not least, on other business, we have the Ned Nesbitt tile and a public hearing. So we'll uh, walk through the motions here. Yeah, we, Jim, will you? Uh, yeah, we've been petitioned to, to raise this ditch tax by 37 some percent of the watershed. The current maintenance is $1.50 an acre with $1.50 per home. That was a minimum and a minimum of $5. Due to the increased cost of maintaining this drain, <clears throat> the Great County Grange Board would like to be assessed at $10 per acre with a $25 home site and a $10 minimum for four years. That would bring in uh, $7,568.65 a year. There's three home sites on there. Uh, 746 acres in the watershed. Currently, it only brings in $1,158. I don't fix, I don't fix much tile. Yeah. It's all, it's all tile then? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's all tile. And it was proposed to go $10 a home? Uh, $25 for the home site, there's three of them. Okay. And then $10 per the acreage. And a minimum? That was also uh, 10 ten dollar minimum for any small parcels. Okay. There wasn't any of those. Yeah. All right. No Is objections, it, right, Mary? We didn't yeah. receive any objections. Okay. So we do this right. I will open up the floor for public comment regarding the public hearing. Anyone online want to make comments for or against the? Uh, Proposed increase. That's a no. All right. Anyone in the room? 
That's a no. I will close the uh, public uh, input to the public hearing. And uh, gentlemen, it's in your hands. That was 37% of the watershed petition to have it raised. That's a pretty good percentage. So what is that at the proposed rate? What will it bring in per year? It's uh, 7,000. 568. 568. 568. That's going to do the maintenance on it. They figure, I guess, I guess they set the I'm just going with, with what yeah, Doug okay. Carey would be happy yeah. with. I'm okay. hoping it will. Well, no one objected, so there's no yeah. sense in no. doing so. Well. I'd make a motion we set it as proposed. I'll second. Motion, Mr. Pinkerton, to uh, accept as proposed. Second, Mr. Goff. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor would say aye. 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 It is unanimous. Um, any other business? We, that certification we do need to sign that. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've been with uh, George Camacho, and we've sized the pipe on for Henry Olinger. He'll probably need to be at the next meeting. There's a five foot round pipe there north of the uh, Farmington Road. And uh, George has got a recommendation here that it, it matches that span. That span is 14.2 feet wide and has a rise of 7.85 feet. And the load restriction liability is to be on the property owner of the stream crossing. George wants that a matter of the minutes that whatever they're planning on taking back there, it's got to, you know, they're going to have to have something that's going to hold some heavy equipment. I, I got a copy if you want to read it. We're, we're just giving permission to. Well, he's got to come and tell us what he wants to put in there. I've just got it ready for, here's what the size. That's about 80 square feet. And that's what George is proposing. Mm -hmm. need to go in there. I'll read this real quick here. Just but, but we don't know what kind of equipment he wants to take back there. No, we don't we don't know, but we never know that on crossings. We just leave it up to the landowner, but it, it doesn't hurt for the drainage board to say the weight limit requirement will be on you. We we're not gonna have anything to do with that recommendation. So yeah. depending on what they're taking back there. What's there? And he talked about building a house back there, but He'll have to have all weather access. Right now, there's a five foot round pipe that got put there years ago, plastic, and the water like is running around it, and it's got a fairly good hole scoured out, you know. So mm -hmm. that's uh, not near what this uh, the road pipe is. So we're saying whatever so agreement little, we we have, that will be in it. Right. It's the long branch ditch. I mean, he's just basically given cross sectional area mm -hmm. on the pipe. Yeah. It's his responsibility to maintain and keep it. Mm -hmm. if That's what the that. Indiana Code says, okay. and I'll reinforce that. Uh, okay. I'll have to call mm -hmm. Henry Oler and tell him that he, he's ready to come to a meeting now. You know, we had the watershed that get the acreage. Uh, and George went and viewed it, the site, and Raymond measured the pipes. We did go to the highway department and, and uh, look at their structure better. We went on site, so, but we went to the highway. So when George did that, was he talking to Henry, or was he was he doing that for you? He was doing it for me, for the Strayer's office. Okay. And this is going to be our recommendation, and then we'll, we'll see what he wants to put in there. I just thought I'd give you heads okay. up. Heads up. Okay. Been working on it. I'm done. All right. Well, with a public hearing, I don't think Johnson would be too Ooh, upset with us today. I'll we'll make a motion. We adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Anybody going to second that? Second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. It is carried. Thank you. That's what we do. Just, the the Just push it down and it'll turn it off. There we go. So both these do tie that to those. Yeah, it ties into the so breaker, breaker one nine. That's <laughs> my friend.